Breaking news. Buhari sent me to collect 10 billion for a Boeing airport. Umahi tells Saraki. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, um, if you're not aware, David Umahi has entered into an agreement with Buhari, just like the one who was not elected, but this one was elected, okay, whether by hook or by crook. He's the governor of Imo State. He was elected. INEC declared him the winner of the election, unlike the other one whom Supreme Court declared, although did not win his party primaries, and the matter is still very unclear, as it's still very bleak and very much in the dark. David Umayi, since after then, has turned a new soul. He's been reborn has been, and has been enjoying immensely from Muhammadu Buhari. And recently, he collected another 10 billion. There's a lot of, you know, this is democracy, but democracy for whom it favors. If you're on my team, you will eat well. In case you're not aware, Governor Newsom Wiki State has been excluded from the 6 billion US dollars Buhari is about to borrow because he's speaking about the state collecting VAT and spending it on the state. So there's a lot going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Why is Umayi getting 10 billion? Governor David Umayi has appealed to the Minister of Aviation, Sa Saraki, to approve 10 billion he requested from President Muhammad Buhari to purchase airport equipment for his state. I plead with you for your kind help in recommending to Mr. President to assist us when Mr. President referred our letter to you, Mr. Umayi said in a letter sent to a vision minister on 7th of September. David Umayi has sought financial assistance from President Muhammad Buhari to complete the international airport in Onuze, Izi, South local government area of the state. In a letter, the governor explained that a Boeing was building one of the largest airports in Nigeria requesting fund to acquire equipment. We intend to complete this project by May 2022, but we do have money, we don't have the money to buy the airport equipment. Hence our appeal to Mr. President for 10 billion naira, mm -hmm. which he has graciously agreed to give us to purchase the equipment, David Umayi has said. He also assured that the airport would be handed over to the federal government for supervision after completion, just as he appealed to Mr. Saki to consider the state request. This, your latest anticipated assistance, will help us complete the airport and will allow Mr. President and you do the commissioning of the project. To the credit of Mr. President administration, David Umayi has added, the minister, however, did not respond to People Glizia's request, seeking to know whether he found the governor's request tenable and would proceed with it. So these are things that are now happening in Nigeria. In case you are not aware, things have changed, oh, drastically. If you are in Buhari's team, you will enjoy some benefit. If you are not on his team, you are on your own. Welcome to Nigeria, where equality, fairness, justice is out of the window. There's no such thing. It doesn't exist. In the country called Nigeria, what's that? It doesn't exist. Welcome to Nigeria. If you have decided to join Buhari's team, if you have decided to open your heart and say, I accept to lick your feet, if you have decided to say, well, we accept whatever you agree with us, welcome to development in your state. But again, I don't know what the person of uh, hope agreed to. Maybe for his own self, personal, uh, you know, uh, him becoming governor, because I see bloodshed everywhere all over his state. And yet, maybe that's the own agreement he made. David Umayi, since then, has told the southern governors that they must not collect VAT. In fact, they must share every resource equally. That's David Umayi, who has made a part with Buhari. We've also seen them come against their own people. Imagine the East was hosting uh, Southern governors. None of them, the, none of the other four showed up. 
where they should be with their own brother. You see, that's why things are the way they are. You know, unity is the bond that hold brothers together. And that's why I've learned something in life in my little years. When you give birth to children from a very young age, start instilling it in them. Start letting them know that they are brothers and sisters. Because life happens, you see. And the one where you think say I go be chairman, if you not be chairman, no, not the one where you least expect. But instill in them love for one another. Instill in them that they are brothers, that they stand, that they are stronger together. And when they get married, if they are, if you have all boys, welcome to welcome. Let them know that you know women and when families start increasing, that they are together. And whatever happened, family quarry and settle. But the bottom line is that family stay together. Don't allow anybody to divide you. We know of popular twins in Nigeria. Famous. What is dividing them? We it started with the women. And that's why mothers, you can't just take it for granted. And just sit down and fold your arms and think that all is well. No. You must pray for your children so that they marry well. You will not marry a girl into the family that will destroy and doesn't want to see anybody. But you've forgotten that he came from a family. You've forgotten that he had a mother, he had a father, he had brothers, he had sisters. Am I saying they are easy? No. But what do you do? Manage people. Because the same way you are scattering somebody's own today, your own children, don't worry, it's not far. You think it's far. Remember when you were in secondary school? Today, now how old are you? You are 34, you are 37, you are 40. Remember when we were in secondary school? That's life. It happens quickly. Welcome to life. So the way you don't want to see your people today, that's the way your, your daughter-in-law will not want to see your children and their brothers and sisters. So what is good for the goose is good for the gangas. As you so wish that men will do to you, do so and even men to, more to them. Because you see the Southeast, they are not staying together as brothers. Everybody's doing his own thing. Everybody minding his own business. How can your brother be hosting the Southern governors and every one of you stayed back? It's a bad thing, no? very bad. Maybe they've not had somebody to analyze it to them and let them know that they really failed. Maybe nobody has told them that they are a bunch of failure disappointment. People of the South East really need an apology on a more serious note. Because your disposition, the way you went about things, is very shameful. Your brothers had, you guys were the one hosting, and none of you showed up. Disunity destroyed things faster than even a weapon. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.